What's going on? It's James with Shimer Fantasy Battle Report. Got another battle report for you today. It is the Road to Novi Side. Round number, whatever friggin' number is showing up right now. It's ESC round number two. Guys, what is going on? So, uh, my first ESC game, I actually lost pretty big. Uh, I got a, a three point win. I, it was a bloody game. I was actually really happy with uh I'll, I'll explain really quick because if you guys watched my video before you got to this one i got annihilated i got you know he, he killed all, all my hordes in like two rounds of combat and basically after that it was just koopa and baxter to the rescue and koopa and baxter annihilated like 60 percent of that guy's army which is just fucking incredible I, I think they actually killed more than that so i think that koopa and Baxter showed me a lot in that last game. Let's see how it works in this game. Now, in this round, I'm playing Lars. And Lars is, here's a picture of Lars. Um, Lars is the coach for Team Norway. Uh, he, uh, the first year I came with Mexico, uh, my brother played Lars. And he, it was his, his first game in ESC, or ETC, I'm sorry, ETC. And he got a 10-10, right? <clears throat> so we were talking about that because what happened back then was my brother was losing pretty big it was round six or you know yeah round six turn six and he goes I ah, man I got a cannon shot but there's nothing to shoot the guy had an infernal dwarf army any big monsters were dead and then Lars kind of goes if I was you I'd shoot this and my brother's like ah eh, sure whatever so he shoots it causes a massive panic and a lot of shit runs off the table and my brother ends up getting a 10 10 out of it so that's fucking hilarious Lars found it hilarious, Jesse found it hilarious, I find it hilarious. Anyways, that's a little quick story about Lars. But, moving on, um, we're going to go over this game. This game, he's playing Warriors of the Dark Gods. Now, this is the only game I don't play with Pyromancy in the whole tournament. Uh, because, for my ESC list, I actually ended up bringing, uh, what is that called? Instead of the Magical Heirloom, I brought uh, Essence of the Free Mind. Right? Uh, so... Because I figured if I'm playing in a singles, Pyromancy might not be useful in every round. This game, I actually wish I brought Pyromancy. I swear to God, I actually thought I brought, brought Pyromancy. But I brought Thaumaturgy instead in this game. And let's see how it goes. Witchcraft might have been a good alternative. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, let's go over what I have. Let's go over what he has really quick. Here's my list. I got my uh, the K-Pack, Koga Kaiser Koenig. Um, for the record, I'm being dead honest with you guys. These guys were so highly... Uh, uh, Cust not customized um, converted excuse me they're so highly converted that every trip I've gone on more and more and more of them are breaking and then now it's getting to the point where I'm just gluing glue on glue and uh, I don't know how long Coco Kaiser Koenig have left guys I, I have to either uh, revamp them redo them or something because they're uh, the chariots on top are just taking a beating uh, Koga's being the, probably the sturdiest out of all of them but the other two oof Eesh. Anyways, I uh, got uh, over here. I got my spear chucka, and I also got my uh, feral orc Ed bashers. Twenty-seven of them with extra hand weapons, green tide banner, and uh, the big stamadon. Um, over here, I got my iron orc legion, my dreads legion, uh, and uh, they are twenty-three iron orcs with mechanox totem. Uh, over here, I got my squigs, twenty-seven or twenty. Three squigs, actually. 23 squigs. Uh, then I got a unit of 20 goblins of bows. And then I got Bazooka's Commandos at 20 goblins, forest goblins, bows, throwing weapons, relentless banner. BSB is Bazooka the long shot with banner discipline and my pyromancy wizard. Um, I got Koopa, you fat fuck. Koopa the fat fuck uh, on the Gargantula Spider on the Chicken Rock. God, guys, you don't understand. I was even making this joke yesterday. Um, Koopa just keeps getting fatter. That's what it is. He keeps getting fatter. Kind of like me. Anyways, um, for magic, I got Smite the Unbeliever. I got Hand of Heaven, Cleansing Fire, and Bring the Pain. For my opponent, he has Hel Hellfire, Rod of Battle, Word of Iron, Glory of Gold, and that's about it. He has a level 4? I think he has like a level 2 with them. Heirloom, anyways. Uh, he has a Feldrick Ancestor. He has a unit of Feldricks here, six of them. He has his general on a mount, on a horse, or whatever it is. He's like a Doom Lord general. He has the Burning Portent. 
He has um, a re-rollable armor save. He's pretty nasty. The thing is with these uh, Doom Lords is I should be able to turn off the weapon. So if he gets in combat with my Black Orcs, I should technically be able to kill him. Um, over here he has a unit of dogs. He has a unit of warriors. Uh, it looks like... Ooh, I miscounted. That's about C6... 18, 19, 20 warriors. Uh, I forgot what banner, which lore they have. Oh, no, no, no. It should be like 19 warriors. Then the wizard in the front. I totally forgot to add the wizard points. I totally forgot to add that. Um, which I'm probably going to have to do right now really quick. Because I remember who kills the wizard. So, I know, spoiler. Alright. It's actually a really stupid thing that happens with the wizard. But uh, I'll get there when I get there can't believe I didn't put that in. Come on. There we go. Alright. There we go. Alright. Um, sorry. Got another unit of Feldraks there. Six of them. Got another unit of dogs there. Then he has another Feldrak ancestor. It's a pretty punchy list. He wants to get in combat. These, both Feldrak units have a banner of speed. They're fast as fuck. Here's how he deploys. Now, unfortunately, I think he gets first turn. He does. I was hoping for first turn for this scenario. Um, we're playing King of the Hill. Mine is the hill right in front of my units. His is the ruins on the far side. All right. Uh, and let's go over turn one. Warriors of the Dark Gods. Warriors of the Large Gods. Turn one. So uh, he's going to go ahead and move up like so. He basically sets up two threat ranges with uh, the Feldrax. The dogs are about to get in the way. My goal here is to kill his chaff. If I could kill his chaff, he, I could chaff him and I could get into combats that I want to get into. Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, this is the reason why I figured I should have brought Pyromancy. I really should have brought Pyromancy just to get rid of the chaff early. And then the rest of the game I'm just trying to hit uh, magic missiles to kill shit. And any, any wounds help after that. But killing the chaff is so fucking huge. And I, I feel like an idiot for bringing freaking Thaumaturgy. Magic got a 5 on the Flux. Um, he, I'm like, alright, he has Hellfire, so I'm going to stop the Hellfire, which I do. <clears throat> I'm like, he, nothing else is really in range. He ends up doing the one where it's like, uh, oh wait, that's the wrong game I'm thinking of. I don't think anything happened. I think that most of his stuff was, it, I just had to stop the Hellfire and everything else is just not going to be in combat. Alright, um, <clears throat> over here, this is going to be a picture for me. Turn number one, orcs and goblins. Orcs and goblins turn one. So I go ahead and I move my black orcs pretty aggressively on the on the middle. I'm going for the objective. But not only that, his warriors are too far for any threat on my left side of my black orcs. Um, if he does move closer with the the warriors, my 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 K pack could go in. On the left side though is a bigger issue because uh, those feldraks are strength six. They have halberds. They're pretty nasty, so my spider actually backs up, and not only that, but he has a Feldrick Ancestor on the left side of the cliff, and I can't see him. So he, if I poke my head out, he's coming at me with the Feldrax. That's really nasty. So I back up the Savages, uh, the K-Pack's holding the center, the hill and the rock are kind of in a bad spot. I think I deployed badly on this. Um, over on the right side, I made a huge fucking mistake. So one of my mistakes, this happened in my last game against um, France. Um, was I don't have my hordes like in a V situation. If they're in a V situation, they could kind of protect each other's. Uh, so if they get charged and they're steadfast, they're going to be able to uh, protect each other. So I try to do that with the black orcs and the squigs. I did not notice, I did not realize, I moved my squigs out of having the front arc of the Feldrak. Now the Feldrak is in my flank. All right, on the right side, the ancestor. So stupid of me. So, so stupid of me. And I didn't realize. Um, I chaff the Feldrax with my dogs up there. And I put him in a position where uh, if he wants to charge me with his dogs, that's a waste of his dogs. If he charges me with the Feldrax, it's a waste of his... He has to, it's going to be redirected. Or if his character comes out, his character is going to be vulnerable, right? I have a... I made sure I don't cover him up because I'm going to have a one-time chance of shooting him with the bolt throwers. Both... Both Chuck is going to be able to shoot him. Um, all right, so magic got a three on the flux. Go ahead and I uh, don't really do much. I think I was out of range for the magic missile. I'm really out of range out of the freaking minus one toughness. So I'm just like whatever. Um, so shooting over here, I'm going to shoot these guys into the fucking dogs. I end up killing. I don't have a picture of it. I end up killing six dogs, and I'm like shit. And he passes his leadership check. He has eight. 
So I end up using the K-Pack. I didn't even really move the K-Pack. And I just shoot the dogs and I end up killing the dogs. Thank God I killed one unit of, uh, of chaff. It's going to start off turn two. Orcs and goblins. Orcs and goblins turn two. Or where's the, the large gods? Where is the large god? Turn two. He is going to char charge here. Obviously this bolt throwers both missed his general. Yeah, that happens. Um, and then his Feldrak is going to charge into my squigs as you can see i just found out i left I, I i moved out of the front arc i was in the front arc originally and then i moved out of the front arc so now he's going into my flank um basically that's how the table looks his left side basically decides to chill a bit magic he got to six on the flux goes ahead and he does rod of battle on these guys goes ahead and he does glory of gold on these guys i really don't give a flying fuck to be honest uh he puts uh alchemic fire on my on my k-pack don't really care over here, close combat, he does kill like six of my guys. I don't even do a fucking wound, but I am steadfast. And I go ahead and I, I reform. My general's in range. I'm able to reform, turn around, and face him. But uh, my my I underestimated what was about to happen on this. I'll show you really quick. On turn two, orcs and goblins. Orcs and goblins, turn two. So I use my triple march banner, the relentless company with the, the forest goblins. I move them way over here because the left side's getting crowded, right? And I want to be able to do magic spells into that Feldrak. I charge the K-Pack into the Warriors because I said, fuck it. I'm gonna. Right? I'm just gonna. Um, he chaffed my Black Orcs, I want to say with his Wizard. So I charged his Wizard that was right in front of the Black Orcs. Okay. That's why I said I forgot who. Because who. he was hoping to have the dogs to chaff my Black Orcs. Of course. He wants both the units of Warriors and Feldraks in my Black Orcs. I get that. Of course. So he ended up using his wizard. His wizard is only like an adept. So it's like a, maybe a 300 or 400 point wizard. Walks right in front. So I, I'm going to take, take the bait there, of course. Now, my problem here was I had a, a, a blind faith that my squigs were going to hold one more round. I'm... Uh, ugh, I, I don't even know what I was thinking. Okay? Because that motherfucker is about to punk me. So since I moved closer, here's the big issue. Is either A... And I didn't see this till afterwards. Either that Feldrak blows up my squigs and he has his free choice of charging a war machine or goblins or my forest goblins and I'm done. Right? Uh, his Feldraks with his general in the unit could charge the war machine, overrun into the goblins, and basically charge his Feldrak into either unit and basically kill them all. Basically that whole middle chunk in between the black orcs Everything to the right of the Black Orcs is about to die. I'll put it to you that way. Everything on the right side of the Black Orcs is about to die. Because he can charge whatever the hell he wants. Left side, still pretty far charges. Magic, got a two on the flux. Goes ahead and I do smite the unbeliever and I lower these guys' toughness. And he's like, oh shit. Shooting the spear chucker. Ch -ch Boom! Holy shit! I did a one shot. One hit fucking wound d3 wounds three wounds kill his general he had no ward save he had a re-rollable armor holy shit holy shit holy shit <laughs> oh man anyways over here i gonna shoot these goblins into his fell jack send up doing a wound uh close combat impact hits boom oh my god i love you k-pack i did three six nine twelve 12 wounds. I want to say I rolled a 12 on the impact hits and I had zero non wounds. So I did 12 wounds. Uh, by the way, uh, what's his name? Michael? Mikal? I want to say it was Michael. Gave me that white dice with the penguin on it. And uh, dude, that dice is fucking hot. It rolls so damn hot. Every other roll. Um, but I freaking do 12 impact hits. I kill like 10 of these guys. Uh, he goes back. He ends up doing a shit ton of wounds back because I have flaming on. So he does like seven wounds back. I end up winning combat, but he is steadfast. But it's fine. It's totally fine because I held him there for a turn, which is really important. I basically decimated this unit. Um, over here, close combat. He challenges with his fucking wizard. His wizard is strength three, guys. His wizard is strength three. I am swinging first. He has like no armor. Okay. I'm hitting him on, I want to say like twos, wounding him on twos. I roll and do one wound with my general. One wound. I roll a shit ton of ones. He goes back. The motherfucker has one attack, 
hits, needs to hit six to wound, hits the six, I fail my armor save and my ward save. He does a wound on my general. <laughs> God damn it. We actually stick in combat there. Because I have a charge, a banner, and a wound. He has one wound. He only loses by two. Um, over here, my fucking squigs blew up. God damn it. They ended up doing uh, three wounds on, or two wounds, I want to say, onto the Feldrek Ancestor. Now he has his free charge, like I said, and this basically sucks. This sucks. Turn three. Warriors of the Dark Gods. Warriors of the Dark Gods. Turn three. He's going to charge into the bolt thrower, like I said he would. Um, it would be different if my black orcs kill that wizard if my black orcs kill that wizard i could angle it so either unit he charges he's gonna have to deal with the black orcs and i could just flee with the goblins or whatever right and i think he knows that but since the goblins or since the black orcs are stuck he's gonna charge until the both are overrun into the goblins he's gonna charge his feldrak into the forest goblins which was a smarter choice he thought about it for a while he's like oh, i can just charge them i get the overrun gets here there there and he's trying to figure it out I think, honestly, his best bet was what he actually went with, was charge the forest goblins, because they're going to be a lot more points. Um, and he gets rid of my wizard and BSB. Uh, magic, uh, he gets it with both, of course. Magic, he gets a 7 on the flux, goes ahead and he does Rod of Battle and uh, Word of Iron on these guys. We, we were joking around. I used my Dispel Scroll on the last one, on the or Binding Scroll on the last combat, because I was like, it's not like you're going to have a wizard anymore. <laughs> and then he fucking has fucking spells again. So, <laughs> God damn it. Um, Alright, close combat. His Feldrek Ancestor kills my Forest Goblins. My Forest Goblins end up doing a poison wound onto him, though. So I get one more wound. He's going to overrun this direction, and he gets really fucking close to the back of my Savages. Fuck. Alright. Fuck. <clears throat> Over here. Close combat. Um, oh, he charged into my Black Orcs. I thought he charged into the War Machine. So, actually, I think this is my turn. Let's see, what happened? Yeah. Uh, I think this pitch is a pitch jump. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Is there a lack of photos? I'm trying to figure this out, guys. I'm sorry. So, he did his magic. He goes ahead and he kills that. Obviously, my general would have killed his guy now. I think it was a uh, I'm missing photos. I think that's exactly what it is. So it looks like the Force Goblins didn't do the wound. It looks like it was my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn three. I killed the I killed the wizard on my turn on his turn. Sorry, his turn. So I get to free reform. I charge the Black Orcs into his Feldrax, which he didn't over chase with the Feldrax to the Goblins. He figured I was coming for him, so he did a smart move by him. Um, and then shooting phase, I end up shooting his guy here with the bolt thrower that's what happened and i moved the spider as you can see the spider moved up right here in front of his feldrak um over here close combat he ends up doing three wounds onto my general he's trying to assassinate my general my general makes three ward saves though motherfucker good job finally can't kill a fucking wizard but can take three ward saves from feldrak um he whiffs on my black orcs he whiffs i mean he did five wounds Five. I go back. I go extra extra hand weapons actually, and I end up killing off. Uh, I end up doing like ten wounds or so, killing off the back rows, and um, they run and they run away. I end up chasing because when the, what ends up happening is I need to get to the objective, and the objective is up in that direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and chase, and uh, I don't even catch him. I run pretty low. It's gonna start off his turn. Turn four. Turn four. Warriors of the Dark Gods. So he charges this Feldrak all of them into the ancestor and the, the guys into my uh savages i'm hoping one gets in not both unfortunately both get in um over here he charges it to the, the uh koopa now he charges it to koopa <clears throat> i put koopa here on purpose because if he charges into the rear of the savages i'm gonna lose the savages right and basically he's gonna hit koopa now he does say like six attacks he's not gonna kill koopa in one go he's just not it's it's even if he's t uh strength seven I don't even know. I don't even remember what this guy's stats are. But even if he's strength 7, you know, he's going to hit about, just say, a little bit more than half. You know, so if he has 6 attacks, he's probably going to hit like 4 or 5 hits. And then he's only going to wound like 3 or 4. So I'm going to live. The question is, can I kill this guy? He only has 3 wounds left. So I'm like, whatever, right? So he charges in here, gets in here. Uh, let's go into that close combat because there's no more magic. And I think that's what it is. I think that's why I'm confused on my turns because I'm missing magic on both sides now. Um... Close combat. He fucks up my savages. Holy shit. 
Holy shit, and as you can see, my K-Pack's dead, too. Holy shit, though, man! Oh my god, he fucked up my savages. My savages go back. I think I killed one Feldrak. One. Um, and he's gonna overrun, and he overruns his other Feldrak ancestor into the rear of the Koopa! Jesus Christ! His Feldraks, though, fail to hit the flank of Koopa. I'm like, oh my god, Koopa, no! Live, Koopa! Live! Jesus Christ! We gotta do this combat, but I don't wanna get here yet, guys! I don't wanna get here! I'm just like looking at this picture like, no! Koopa, you fat fuck, can you do it? Can you pull it off? Well, the next picture says, HELL YEAH! He could pull it off! He fucking punks the one, Feldrak! Does three wounds to the other! I actually win combat! Oh, no, I didn't win combat, but he did five wounds, a charge, and a big rear, okay? I did not win combat. Uh, I did three wounds to that one, three wounds to that one. I lose by four or three, but I am stubborn. I turn around. I'm like, fuck this fuck. Fuck this fuck up his stupid ass. Now, I was able to split up the, the, the attacks. I had Koopa with, like, five attacks. The fucking poison AP7 was just like, sung, 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 poison, poison, poison. And he, I'm like, that one's dead. Spider on that other one. Boom. Killed him. Holy fuck. Koopa was fighting two. Koopa so fat that his fat bounced off two Feldrak ancestors. Two. <laughs> it's not looking good, guys. It's not. But holy shit, did Koopa just. That's fucking incredible. Over here, I ended up. Uh, he ended up rallying. I ended up charging him here, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this unit and continue overrunning towards my objective. And we're gonna go into my turn, Orcs and Goblins turn four. Again, there's a lack of photos. It's because there's lack of magic, lack of shooting. This game, we finished this game with like an hour and a half remaining in the round, by the way, because we're both missing magic and shooting, and it's just combat, 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 and most of our shit's dying already. Well, anyway, so let's go back to this picture here. Koopa's fighting this guy. Um, and what ends up happening here is I end up killing that other guy and holy shit, it causes a panic on the Feldrax. The Feldrax in their book says specifically they cannot panic by other units except for a Feldrax ancestor. And the Feldrax ancestor died right in front of them. They fucking flee and get the fuck out of here. And my light just went out right now while I was saying that. When I said flee, the light just went out. What the fuck? That sucks. I gotta fix that after this. Alright, um, so they flee and they run away. And I'm like, holy shit, this is going all... This is, everything's going millhouse here, man. Over here, close combat. My general ends up punking one of the guys. He ends up still trying to assassinate my general. Um, he fails to do so. They're gonna run. I'm gonna chase him. This time I actually do catch him. Uh, it's turn five. Warriors of the Dark Gods. Warriors of the Dark Gods, turn five. He rallies. Oh, the light just went back on. What the fuck? It was the minute I said they fled, the light went out. And I was like, oh, God, I got to change the bulb. When I said they rallied, the light went back on. That's crazy. He's trying a long bomb charge here with his warriors into, I think, the war machine. And he fails it. Nothing else happens because he doesn't really have anything else. He just rallied and, turn, and charged. Let's go start off my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn five. Orcs and Goblins turn five. Now, I was goaded by Lars to charge the Feldrax. I should have not. I should have not. He goes, man, you're going to charge my Feldrax, and I'm going to fucking fail the terror. So I'm like, you know what? That sounds like a plan. I'm going to charge this Feldrax and <laughs> cause it to terror. <laughs> I charge him, and he fucking passes the terror. God damn it. I really, 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 like, thinking back about this, 100%. But I think it's part of the fact that it was a fast game that you just kind of make impulse decisions, right? For the record, I'm going to be 100% clear with you guys here. Um, transparent here. During ETC, I don't play any fast games. I think about my moves a hell of a lot more than what I did here. Okay? But I was just like, fuck it, I'll charge him, cause a terror. He doesn't tear. If I would have charged Koopa into his warriors, I would actually uh, just finish off that warrior block. There's just no way in hell those warriors are going to live. Right? Um, but charging into his Feldrax is a little bit more uh, iffy because I only got like three or four wounds left. Right? But I charge into the Feldrax, I get in. All right. Um, over here, I'm just moving my general's unit in towards the ruins, and that's all the dead shit on the right side, of course. Just my general's unit is the only thing live on this side of the table. Uh, over here, close combat, I, I, I was hoping, I was hoping 
to kill two because one of them was already wounded. I was hoping to kill two. I didn't kill either one. I kill. I did like one wound. He hits me back. He ends up doing like two wounds back. I'm I'm on my last fucking wound, but that's not gonna help. I was hoping to fucking break this unit. And even so, if I was to kill, if I was to do just a a charge and five wounds, and he only did three wounds, I'm gonna win. And he would probably run. But I fucking whiffed. Huge did I whiff. Huge. And it's gonna cost me. It's gonna start off turn six. Turn six, Wars of the Dark Gods. He walks his unit here onto the objective. So we're gonna have the tie on the objective. And again, this is part of the reason why I should have just charged these guys and dealt with it. And then if the other guys walked on, I could just turn the spider around and charge them. Um, and then maybe Gauze the Terror then. Um, over your close combat. I kill the one. He ends up killing Koopa. That's the end of the game. He could not have reformed and touched the objective. He tried and tried and tried and tried, and it's just outside of the objective. So it's going to be a tie on the objective, and it's a fucking bloody game. I have a unit of goblins, a bull thrower, and my iron orcs left with my general in it. He has a unit of feldrax and warriors, and he has the other objective. It is actually a 10-10. <laughs> it's probably one of the funnest 10-10s ten I've ever had, though. It is a fucking bloody-ass game. Um, honorable mention for MVP is the Spear Chucka. Spear Chucka killed his general. Spear Chucka killed his general. Let's just be honest. That was fucking G. But the fact that I, I failed to charge Koopa into the Warriors was just a major fuck-up by me. But that does not negate the fact that Koopa fought two Feldrake ancestors and kicked their asses. So I'm gonna give the fucking MVP award to Koopa. <laughs> Koopa, you fat fuck! Holy shit. Now the Black Orcs did pull in a hell of a lot more points. I'm gonna be honest with you. The Black Orcs pulled in roughly about 1,200 points. Oh, it's about the same as Koopa. But they also got the objective, okay? <laughs> but Koopa killed... Come on! Koopa killed two Feldrak ancestors. Let's be honest. How G is that? That's fucking gangster. Koopa, you fat fuck. You're a fucking gangster. I'm gonna make copies of this photo and put it everywhere. This is just a fucking insane turn of events here. Um, again, I think that... Not that Pyro would have changed my game any. I don't even know what happened to the other dogs. Did I kill the other? I think I charged... Oh! He used the other dogs to chaff my savages. Ch savages ran forward. I forgot to add those points out to the savages. Uh, let's put those up there. You're probably gonna see the updated points. See how many? How much is a unit of dogs? 120. That's so cheap. That's so cheap. Foot Clan. Um, but um, but I don't even know. What, oh, um, Pyro would have helped killed some dogs, and Pyro probably would have put in a couple more wounds here. And if I were to think about it better, I I, I just played it stupidly. Um, anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this game. I enjoyed making it. It was a really interesting game. It was really fun. Um, it was a lot of fun. Lars is, I mean, this is the one time I've ever played Lars, and I actually had a lot of fun playing it. Um, Carl, Eric, uh, is looking forward to this match because he's from Norway, of course. He wants me, to, he wants to see how my matches went against his Nords. Uh, but, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Hmm. Anyways, guys, let me give you a sneak peek for the next guy. Who's the next guy, anyways? Next guy is opening up my folders, pictures, etc. Oh, it was the guy from like Slovenia. Uh, it's actually the coach from Slovenia who's playing. Um, so I'm gonna play him next. He's an OgreCon player, and this game is a pretty bloody game as well. Um, but guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it. And I feel like I'm missing something. If you guys like this video, hit like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to show further support, go to my Patreon. I'm going to leave the link down below. And also, I'm going to leave my PayPal if you guys ever feel like donating. Any kind of donation is helpful. I'm trying to get a new camera and go to Luxembourg. Uh, I'm going to try to make... Um, I'm actually going to be honest with you guys. Um, since i got a couple more minutes here to, to, before I, my client walks in the door. And I have to fix that light still. But um, I have... Uh, I'm going to Colorado. For mayhem in the mountains uh, with Mike Lies. Mike Lies is a guy who's running the event. Uh, Mike Lies did apply for Team Mexico next year, by the way, which is pretty fun. Um, but uh, to be honest, I'm going to. I want to try to get to Mexico City. Uh, we found a group of players in Mexico City. Um, 
that uh, obviously play. And my brother and I have actually made some plans to, or are in discussion of some plans to try to get out there for a tournament out there sometime, uh, sometime soon. If it's not a tournament, just to get in some games against these guys and start seeing how how good they are. Uh, but besides that, um, we I'm trying to get to San Francisco, which is another tournament in December. And, uh, and then, of course, Corner Hammer is in early next year. But that's my, like, tournament timeline right now is Colorado, maybe San Francisco. Oh, of course, Hogfest. Hogfest is in November, uh, November, October, and Michigan GT. So I'm going to try to get to those tournaments and then also try to get to Mexico City sometime uh, early in the year or late in this year uh, just to try to get some games in with these guys. Um, and then also go to visit my family in Medida. But, um, yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of travel talk right now. Um, hopefully, I can make my my business uh, flourish a little bit, so I can get the money to do so. But it's really it really does weigh down on me because flights from Chicago. It's, it's not that it's expensive; it's just that it's expensive for me. <laughs> um, so uh, any any kind of donations help, guys. If you guys could help out, that'd be awesome. I'm trying to get my uh, t-shirt business. That, by the way, that's that's the other big. Ba -ba -da -da, is my t-shirt business uh, been working on some designs uh, specifically for for our nine page community here uh, I got a vampire logo star, uh, created and I also got uh, the infernal dwarf one that I'm working on um, and then we'll see how that goes if any of that starts to take off hopefully that helps fund money for me to get to these events because flights and everything room and board every way I could try to save I try to save but it's all costly Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. See you next time. Take care, and until next time, peace.